What we're really aiming towards here is having a value that we can compare this CZD with to find our intercept. So the value we're going to compare with the CZD is the TZD. And to find the TZD, we need to find a true altitude. So the next step is going to be correcting our section altitude to true. Um, the first thing we're obviously going to do is apply our index error of 1.0 on the arc. So that's a subtraction. We end up with 64 degrees, 11.2. And then we would go to the front page of the almanac to find a dip correction. A dip correction for 19 metres. It's going to be between 18.8 and 19.3. So the correction we've got is minus 7.7. .7. So our apparent altitude is 64 degrees 3.5. We can then use that to look up a total correction, bearing in mind what we said about the seasonal ranges and the use of the correct limb for the sun. This is a lower limb observation and our seasonal range, we're currently in August, so we're going to be looking at the April to September column this time. And at 64 degrees 3.5, we're going to be between 61.51 and 67.17, which means our total correction is plus 15.5. which gives us a true altitude of 64 degrees 19.0. Finally, to turn that into a TZD, I'm simply going to subtract it from 90, just as we did with the MZD for the Merpass observation. So 90 minus 64 degrees 19 gives us 25 degrees 41. And remember, we do want to keep these in degrees, minutes and decimals of minutes at all times. Finally, we need the intercept. To find the intercept, we need to compare TZD with CZD. And the rule is that if the TZD is smaller than the CZD, then we're going to name the intercept towards, but if the TZD is greater than the CZD, we're going to name the intercept away. In this case, the TZD is greater than the CZD, um, and it's greater by 0.2 minutes. So we're going to say 0.2 minutes or miles away is the size of our intercept.